So as you guys know, Jimmy Dore has lost his mind. Um, he has completely gone off the sane train. He's just gone on to the train of, you're a sellout, you're a sellout, you're a fraud, you're a paid CIA shield, you're on the payroll of NATO. The most recent person that he's turned against is Mike Figueredo of the Humanist Report, who was one of his good friends. So um, he's going to turn on literally every last person because there will be some crevice or some area that he disagrees with them on. And once that happens, he's going to say, hi, exposed you, you're a CIA paid shill, you're a fraud, you're a sellout, you're a TYT propaganda, Clinton network, whatever bullshit. But it's just really interesting because Jimmy Dore is delusional. But there's only one person I think who is more insane and delusional than he is, and that's a guy named Nino House. Now, here's a hilarious tweet that unfortunately has gone viral. There, I've seen a couple of viral tweets, like I saw one dumbass tweet that went viral that was saying all y'all do is tweet, which was like in response to Ilhan Omar's tweet about forget if it was 2k checks or impeachment or something like that as if the democrats including them especially had not been fighting their ass cheeks off to get that two thousand dollar checks through um it's laughably stupid i'm not sure what's wrong with people's brains or if they're just guided by contrarianism they're bored they're stupid they're a dumb i'm not really sure i don't know how you see what bernie and the squad were doing and trying to get the 2k checks and then say oh all y'all do is tweet idiots man but here's something really incredibly stupid, and this is something that Jimmy Dore has endorsed by retweeting it. It's a tweet from Nino House. It says, If AOC fought as hard for Medicare for All as she has to impeach a president who's leaving in a few days, we'd have Medicare for All in a week. So this is completely delusional, but I have two issues with this. One of them is that clearly, obviously, if AOC fought as hard as she's doing right now for impeachment, no, we would not have Medicare for All in a week. And I do believe that, you know, he's obviously trying to use some hyperbole here. But this is just this idea that it's just so close and we're going to get it. Um, that's not true at all. Not even remotely close. This is going to be a serious long fight that is really difficult to do without any seniority in Congress. Now, is forced to vote a good idea? It probably is a good idea. Um, but the idea of this, this sort of idea that we'd have it in a week or we'd have it soon is ridiculous. But also what, it's do what it does is, and I've noticed this with the loony bins, the loony bin has people like Jimmy Dore, Nino House, those kinds of people. Um, this idea that it's downplaying what Trump has just done with his incitement of what happened at the U.S. Capitol. That's what he's doing. Um, and that's what they're all, that's what Jimmy George is doing as well. They're all, they're all playing it down as if it's really nothing and Biden is worse and as if this isn't evidence. And more than that, really, you look at him trying to get Pence to overturn the election by having Pence, who's a vice president, who just has a ceremonial role and just opening up the envelopes and then reading out the electoral votes. Trump was trying to get him to say, no, uh, I'm not going to accept these electoral votes and give Trump the win, which is incredibly, that's fascism 101. Okay, that's actually insane. He called the Georgia Secretary of State, said to find 12,000 votes, all this kind of stuff. And then now you have what happened at the U.S. Capitol. People did die at the U.S. Capitol. Um, there was a, a lot of stuff that went down there, obviously it's a very dangerous situation, but they're downplaying as if it's nothing, you know what I mean, as if it's not evidence that Trump is this huge fascist. Um, it's really, like, it's crazy, man. I don't know what planet these people live on, uh, but Nino House also is now working with own, uh, the crazy right, far, far right wing network, so he's kind of, ironically, as Jimmy Dore is trying to claim everybody's frauds, you know, Nino House is really the one who's pretty heavy fraud, so is, uh, uh, Turf C. Gabbard also is a pretty huge fraud, so, ironically, as he's trying to call everyone else frauds, he's kind of exposing themselves, right, the, uh, the loony bins, um, Jimmy Dore, you know, retweeting this tweet, <laughs> just delusional, man, these people are fucking insane, dude, it, it's truly remarkable, and it's just, it's not healthy, not healthy for the left movement, that's for sure.